I often read here that Iran will respond to our sanctions. Sometimes it's been via military and increasingly it now looks like it's cybersecurity. Do you see these increasing cybersecurity threats as you've been covering this? Yeah, I think there's been a persistent threat. I think most organizations that have a server on the internet are constantly being bombarded by uh, Iranian hackers, Russian hackers, Chinese hackers, anybody who has the capability. The question now is, after uh, the attack yesterday, in what way does that change? In what way do those attacks exacerbate? What new tactics might be in play? And exactly how do uh, major brands, companies, uh, organizations that manage these industrial control systems respond or uh, bolster their defenses. Tom, do you agree that increasingly Iran will be responding to us via, via cyber warfare? Very much so. This airstrike will be met by a cyber strike. In fact, I think Iran will now begin to take their own gloves off and wage an insurgency in American cyberspace as they have the technical acumen now and the weaponry to leverage significant cyber attacks against the energy sector, the financial sector, and the transportation sector. Carter K, you said that they were looking perhaps at any new tactics. What in your space that you cover could some of those new tactics be? I think there's a, a major question about what they've had up their sleeve for quite some time. We've seen them drop DDoS attacks, send malware, uh, ransomware, but if they somehow have a zero day, something that can't be beat back immediately, if there is no uh, quick solution for, this might be one of those cases where they actually use it, what they've been saving it up for. Uh, the problem with anticipating that kind of attack is you don't know exactly what you're in for. The best solution is to know exactly what your network looks like. And in those industrial control systems, what we're hearing is that a lot of these companies that have machines talking to machines don't always know exactly what that network looks like. Tom, you mentioned energy, transportation, some financial institutions. Walk me through each of those theses, each of those arguments, if you will, about how those sectors present the most vulnerability. <clears throat> Yeah, so let's back it up one bit and, and note and pay uh, a little bit of respect to the coding in Iran. You know, they, they've developed numerous destructive malware uh, payloads over the years. They took down the largest uh, oil and gas company in Saudi Arabia um, through destructive cyber attacks years ago. They have the capacity to destroy the integrity of data and to destroy systems. And we should be very concerned with that type of attack against the energy sector and the financial sector. Even though the financial sector is much better secure than the energy sector as a whole, um, it, be, it has too many interconnectedness and the dependencies of the financial sector are so vast that the Iranians can island hop through the trusted ecosystems of the sector, whether it's the, the ISPs, uh, whether it's the managed service providers, whether it's even the security vendors themselves. Uh, but destructive attacks, according to VMware and Carbon Black's uh, research, are up 11% um, last year. And I can only imagine that they're going to explode in the coming month. And Carter as you look, how much more vulnerable are the energy, are the transportation sectors relative to, let's say, the financial sector, where mainly in the past that's been the most targeted and perhaps yeah. that's an area where they have really tried to get a good defense up. How much vulnerable now does that make some of those other sectors? I don't know that it makes them any more vulnerable than they already were, but the concern is that there is very little visibility into their own networks to start with. So if, for instance, an Iranian group was already in that network, now might be the time where they actually turn their presence into a kinetic attack, where they take uh, cyber uh, weapons and use them to derail uh, a gas plant or a hydro plant that actually costs lives. Yeah, Tom, walk That's me through That's an excellent a, point. Yeah, so walk me through that. Well, that's an excellent point. That's why I referenced the term insurgency in the beginning of this, this broadcast. Uh, they already have footprints on systems that they now can realize uh, an attack against that infrastructure. We should be very concerned with lateral movement within systems. The lack of visibility is quite profound because many organizations haven't asked the tough questions. CEOs right now should be convening meetings with their CISOs as we speak and asking them, do we have visibility across all of our devices? Are security controls integrated? And most importantly, do we have a cyber threat hunting team that is actively conducting hunt exercises in our infrastructure now to root out that type of insurgency?